Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If my voice sounds different because I'm using this built-in headset on a laptop, which is actually the focus of today's video. But yeah, the headset mic doesn't sound nearly as good as this uh, Blue Yeti microphone. But anyways, so this is actually a brand new laptop PC I got because I wanted something that I could use to video edit and also play games when I'm not at my house. So it's called the MSI GL66 Pulse. Uh, we'll go over the specs in a bit as well, but I do want to talk about some quick tune-ups you can do on your laptop if you're playing Fortnite or any game for that matter. Um, just quick things that you want to do right away after you get your PC out of the box because I'll be honest, the Windows 10 software is not very good right out of the box for gaming and you can easily save an extra like 30, 60 frames per second depending on your graphics card. Alright, so we are here on the desktop screen. As you can see, we got, you know, some games downloaded to some of my favorites. Got some Sims 4, Fortnite, and uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at some simple tune-ups. So the first thing you want to do is type in game. You'll go to game mode settings here, and just make sure this is turned on. That's a simple, easy thing that'll optimize your PC for gaming. It also hides any of those silly little notifications you normally get uh, while you're playing a game that could interrupt your game and make you die. So anyway, so that's the first thing you want to do is just turn that on. The next thing you want to do is go to graphic settings. And this is really good for PC, but it also works well for laptop. You want to make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. Uh, some people say that while you're streaming, this might not be a good one to have on, but for just playing and gaming and stuff, you actually want to have this on because it'll help reduce latency and improve your performance. It says you'll have to restart your PC after you turn that on. The next thing is variable refresh rate. Turn this on when you can. It says when possible that you'll get a higher frame rate and it reduces screen tearing in games that don't support variable refresh rate by default. Another very easy, simple option that gives you better performance. So make sure to turn those two settings on. Um, the next thing you wanna do is add Fortnite as a high performance uh, gaming preference. And so what this does is it'll make sure that Fortnite is always using the best performance possible from your system especially on laptops you want to have this on because if it goes into power saving mode or if it goes into any other mode besides high performance it'll lower your fps and not give you nearly as good of quality as you could have with this setting on very easy to do if you guys want a little tutorial on that basically you'll remove it first you'll go to browse and you need to get to this folder here so to do that you need to go to this pc select your dr your hard drive with your apps go to program files go to epic games go to fortnite go to fortnite game go to binaries win64 and here you'll have a bunch of fortnite client choose the top one on uh, just shipping and when you do that you get these options and then you choose high performance so that is very simple, very effective, and a very easy way to uh, make sure your PC is performing very well. Some extra things you can do uh, is tune up your NVIDIA control panel. Not a lot of people know that this is actually very, very essential to getting the best performance possible. The first thing you want to do on the adjust image settings is make sure you have it on performance. If you can't choose that, choose, choose my preference uh, emphasizing and choose performance. This will give you better performance while you play the game. Also go to manage 3D settings and turn off everything except for until you get to low latency mode. Make sure that's on ultra. Uh, then you wanna make sure power management mode is on prefer maximum performance. Now, if you're gonna be playing for long periods of time on power saving, or if you really wanna make sure you're not uh, using all your power all at once, if for some reason you're using your laptop without a charger, Keep it on normal, but otherwise for the best performance, you always want to have it on prefer maximum performance. This is going to give you the best um, the best use of all your components in your PC. And then scroll down a bit so you get the texture filtering quality and make sure that is also set to high performance. High performance for more FPS and, uh, and it plays way better that way. Then you hit apply in the bottom right and all those settings will update and you're basically good to go. So those are the main things you wanna adjust quickly in your NVIDIA control panel. The next things you wanna do is go to your power settings, uh, go to power and sleep, go down to additional power settings at the bottom. You'll get a couple options here. Normally it's on balanced, 
but this is uh, this isn't so good if you want to make sure your PC is always optimized for the best performance choose ultimate performance now this can use a lot of power so make sure you always have it plugged in guys if you're not gonna have it plugged in or if you don't have good ventilation for your laptop an example would be using like a laptop uh, fan cooler underneath then balanced may be best if you're using a lot of uh, power and your PC gets very hot very easily you probably want to keep it on balance but I use ultimate performance because it gives you the highest FPS that way so those are the quickest and most effective things you want to go ahead and update to make sure you're getting the best performance out of your laptops right out of the box and that way you're not having to do any crazy tweaking or bio settings or anything any weird manipulation to your operating system like that so now we're going to load up Fortnite. we're going to do a little little testeroo a little uh, fps benchmark and see what kind of frames we get while recording in 60 frames per second 1920 by 1080p in Streamlabs. So I'm guessing we'll get at least 120 frames per second, but we'll see. All right, awesome. So we are in a Fortnite match here. As you can see, we are getting about 110, 120 to 150, to 180. It's around that 150 range for the uh, FPS. So overall, not too bad considering that we just did some basic tune ups. There's a lot more advanced stuff you can do. Um, there's even like some like fancy stuff that you can do like overclocking it. Anyways, that's that's kind of the main thing. I just wanted to showcase how you guys can tune up a PC when you get it out of the box, and also kind of showcase this build a, a bit. This MSI Pulse G1166. It's not bad. It's got an H, uh, an Intel 11800H, and uh, 16 gigabytes, 3200. DD4, DDR4 RAM and half a terabyte of storage and a G, an RTX 3070. So it's definitely a middle spec PC. Uh, there's definitely a lot higher um, components you can get, like way better, stronger components. But out of the box, as a decent streaming, editing, gaming PC, this this one takes the cake. You're still getting a very high refresh rate, much higher than just 60. FPS even while uh, recording in full HD and uh, and that's at 60 frames per second so I am very pleased with it and we'll be doing a lot of gaming on the road it'll be fun but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of laptop gaming have you guys done more desktop gaming or laptop gaming out there I definitely am a fan of both of them for different reasons I like that a laptop you can just take on the go anywhere you want and you can take it to your buddy's house who has a PC and you can play right next to him and have a great time. You know, there's there's definitely some good perks there. Um, but yeah, if you guys want more uh, tutorials on laptops, on how to get better FPS, improve ping, or anything on laptops, let me know. Because now that i got a laptop, I can do a lot more demonstration, guides, and how-to videos. But uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.